CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Pretty stormy afternoon across South Florida. The storm's ahead of a cold front. We warmed up yesterday. It turned out to be a pretty nice weekend, except for a few showers Saturday night. Now a live picture from downtown Fort Lauderdale looking off to the east northeast. Still some showers, but much of the activity is offshore, and it's going to be a mostly dry evening and not that bad temperature-wise yet. 77 in Miami, 77 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 75 in Key West. We're just ahead of the cold front. Cold front is just about to push into South Florida. Fairly humid on the stickiness scale, west wind right now, which will become northwesterly once the front passes and a wind gust to 32 miles an hour. Saw some rain. Dania Beach as well as Weston saw over an inch of rain and wind gust pretty strong. Pompano Beach and Bow, Bow Harbor saw wind gusts over 40 miles an hour and a pretty good rainfall amounts, especially in Broward. Here's the radar starting shortly after noon, and you can see the bands of showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. There they go. A couple of lines coming through Broward. A lot of activity over the Keys throughout much of the day. In fact, a record rainfall amount in Key West. And now, as we speak, just a few leftover showers, and those are zipping off quickly to the east. Winds are westerly anywhere from 8 to 21 miles an hour. And as these arrows become more and more in that direction, northwest to southeast, that'll be an indication the cold front has passed through. That front attached to another nor'easter that is spreading snow through the Carolinas, eventually into New York and New England. And... Uh, more snow where those folks don't need it. For us, the cold front comes through tonight, so breezy sunshine, cooler and drier tomorrow. Temperatures tonight will be about 20 degrees cooler than last night's lows. And then throughout much of the week, sunny, dry days, chilly at night, very, very pleasant. High pressure by the weekend slides off to the east. That'll finally turn our winds to a southeast direction. That's when the warm-up begins, the sun and clouds and warming up then. There's the storm system that's winding up through the mid-Atlantic right now. Snow in Pennsylvania, snow also through the Carolinas there, especially the higher elevations. And the bigger picture showing that that's just about the only system in town. And in fact, computer models not showing much after this. We've had these nor'easters about every three or four days. And you can see temperatures across the country kind of slanted towards the southeast where it is chilly. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. The southwest is warmer at 80 in Phoenix. For us tonight, Gusty breeze turning colder overnight, a low temperature near 54 degrees. The showers just about out of here tomorrow. Look for breezy sun, cooler and drier. High temperature near 74. For boaters, winds coming up out of the northwest to north and then dropping off late in the day. 20 then down to 15 knots, see 6 to 9 feet. Choppy conditions on the bays taking us through the rest of the week. It is going to be beautiful if you like it cool and dry. Highs in the low to mid 70s, lows in the 50s right into the weekend.